super well. As you can see, I'm in a different room today, and that's because a couple of days ago, I moved into my new flat in London, and I'm so excited to be here finally, all unpacked and settled. It already feels like home. So I thought what would be really lovely for my first video in my new place is to talk about and do a video on something else I really love, which is I'm a celebrity. I watch it every year. I love the programme, and this year especially, I really like the people in it. And I'm so pleased with the outcome. I don't know about you, but I, from the beginning, wanted Scarlett or Joel to win, so I'm so happy. But I'd love to hear your comments on the programme in general and who you wanted to win. That would be great to hear. And today I thought I'd go through with you five products, both beauty and makeup inspired, that I couldn't personally live without in the jungle. So the first item I would love to take would be concealer and the MAC one. And this is the one I used in my first video, but for those who didn't watch it or can't remember, it's the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer and it's an NW15. I really love it because it's got great coverage and it feels really nice on my skin. It doesn't feel too heavy, which in a really humid jungle would never feel nice. It would cover my redness and freckles, which I talked about in my first video as well, so I'd feel a bit more confident. Don't think I'd be even able to go into the jungle without knowing I could use concealer every day. So the second item I would love to take into the jungle would be my beauty blender. And that's because there isn't a day that goes by that I don't use it. So it would feel really odd not to have it with me. And I also think it works quite nicely with my first item being concealer. It would mean I could buff it and blend it really well into my skin. So it doesn't look like I'm wearing much, which obviously is quite suitable for the jungle. The third item would have to be my Kiko Eyebrow Styling Kit. This is because there isn't a day where I don't wanna have either my skin or my eyebrows done. So on a day where I don't want to wear much or I don't feel very well, I still make the effort to do my eyebrows. I used this in my first video, but for those of you who haven't seen it, the eyebrow styling kit looks like this. And as you can see, it comes with a brush as well. So I thought as well, what would be really clever is to double it up on a day in the jungle where I want to have a bit of eyeshadow or powdered eyeliner. I could easily do that. So there's more than one use, which is really, really good. The next product that I would take in and that I couldn't live without would be Elizabeth Arden 8 Hour Cream. Now, this I tend to just use on my lips. So obviously the jungle, you get very dry lips and especially if you're doing trials where you're eating things or move things with your mouth, which I think they did this year. This is just a nice soothing thing afterwards to repair my lips, bring back the moisture. So this would be a luxury item for me. But also, with this cream, you can put it all over your skin. So I could double this up as a moisturiser. It would repair my skin a lot quicker than an everyday light moisturiser. So that's another product that can have several uses. The final product I would take in with me would be this. And for those of you who are blonde, will probably recognise it. But for those who aren't and aren't sure what it is, it's purple shampoo, which can also be known as silver shampoo. It's the L'Oreal silver one, which I love, would never use anything else. And what it does is it takes out the brassy tones to my hair. So in the jungle, it could be sunny. So the brassy tones are more likely to come out of my hair. I use it every time I wash my hair. So it's an essential for me. Right, so that's all five products done. And I'd love to hear your comments on I'm a Celebrity in general, but also the five products you don't think you could live without when going into the jungle. If you like the video as well, please like and subscribe so you can stay posted with future ones. I really hope you liked it, and I'll see you next time, guys. Thank you. Bye.